Welcome back, Odoers. Jose Ignacio again. Now, today we're going to be talking about a few different things, mainly about how informative talks about your company are essential because they attract attention and attendees to your event. With that in mind, it's important to remember that the quantity and quality of these talks must be top-notch if you want to leave a lasting, positive impression on your audience. Here at Stealthy Wood, talks are also opportunities for our partners to speak about their company and promote their work in hopes of attracting new business. Like conferences, you know, for example, they tend to follow a strict schedule of talks, roundtables, and demos. All of these vary in length and take place in different rooms and at different times. Now, with numerous talks going at all times, it can be pretty challenging to keep everything in line. That's why Odoo provides users with clear, complete agendas, allowing them to easily manage their entire schedule with just a few clicks. So... Enough chit chat. Let's jump into our Stealthywood database to see how talk proposals and agendas work with Odoo. All right, Odooers. So here we are on our events dashboard. Now, the very first thing we're going to do is hop into our settings up here in configuration and settings, just because we want to make sure that our schedule and tracks feature is checked off. Now, this feature is very important. And once it's enabled, we can now create and configure specific tracks, you know, for all of our talks. All right. Everything looks good here, so hit save. And then once that you're done, go on back over to events. And we're going to go into Design Fair Los Angeles because I can see some tracks there. Now, we're going to be able to see a few different things once that, you know, you have that setting enabled. Now, the very first thing that you'll notice is that a new tracks smart button appeared up here. Now, when we click into this, this is the event tracks page and it's in Kanban view by default with various stages to show the progress of each track. Now you can quickly create new stages or you can edit existing ones just like up here with the confirm one. If we click here, we can choose stuff like edit a stage and you'll notice a pop up appears. Now when you select to edit a stage, you have a lot of options. So a pop up is always going to appear. Now you'll notice that beneath the stage name, you can select an email template. Now this is where you can choose a pre-configured message to be emailed to the customer, but only once their track reaches this stage. We can also choose to have this stage, you know, folded in Kanban view by going back over to the gear and folding it. And isn't that pretty useful? Now folded in Kanban means that the stage will be compressed on the event tracks page. This is usually done with inactive columns in this case, such as in our case, we have canceled and refused over here. And of course, if I wanted to, I could choose a corresponding color as well, just to further, you know, organize some of these stages as well. In addition, for all the tracks in this stage, you can also choose to have related tracks visible on the front end of your website by enabling the visible in agenda or other options as well. So if we go back in here and hit edit stage, you'll fully notice that those two options are right there. Got a little bit ahead of myself. Sorry about that, Odoers. Now, lastly, you'll notice that within this, I can choose to make this a canceled stage. What does that mean? Well, it just means the stage is for canceled tracks. At the very bottom, you'll notice that we have the opportunity to adjust the labels of our progress indicators and to add a general description, should this be something our team requires. But I always like how everything looks, so I'm actually just going to hit save and close, and we're going to leave it there. Now, back over here on the tracks page, Odoo offers a super useful calendar view. And a calendar view is easily accessible by this little calendar icon up here. I love our little icon. And you click that. Well, there you have it. You have everything all set up there. Now, this provides you with a clear and easy to modify calendar view, making it super simple to schedule various talks for your events. And it's all done with just a few clicks here. Now, Actually, if we move forward and go a little bit further out, and there you have it. Well, anyways, the one thing that I wanted to show you as well is, let's see what happens when I select a random time slot there. Now, you'll notice when you select a time slot on the desired day, a pop-up appears. Here, you can quickly enter a title for the specific track. In our case, since this is a demo, we'll just do simple track or sample track. Sorry about that. And we're going to create. Now, when we click create, our track will be visually represented on the calendar. And if we need to change, customize, or modify it in any way at any time, all we actually have to do is click it. 
And then once that we do that, you'll notice we have the option to edit it. And this way, it'll redirect us to a page where we can change any detail we want. Also, if we want to jump back to the event tracks page, what do we use our doers? We go back over here to the event tracks page using the delicious breadcrumbs. And isn't that pretty dandy? Now, did I mention that we can actually just click and drag the time slot in the calendar view? That's right. Let's assume we want to move it around, change the time. We can do that here. Now, another thing that I want to talk about with that is that you can actually stretch this out and make it longer as well. And isn't that extra dandy? Just in case, you know, somebody's going to be talking and it's going to be a very long or short talk. You have that option as well. Now, using the same pop-up, by the way, we actually have the options to directly change a few other things. Now, for instance, if we're inside of here and we want to change something such as the name, we can actually edit it and go back immediately as well. Now, how cool is that? So let's go back. Now, let's manually create a track from scratch to this event. So we'll go back over here to Kanban view and we're gonna select Create. And in this case, we're gonna do Inspiring Chat with Jose because I am very inspiring. Now, we have a name. What else do we need in this case? We need a track date. And in our case, we wanna pick, pick the 13th of November. Seems like a cool date. All right, we have a date, we have a name. What else do we actually need now? Well, we need a location. In our case, we're gonna be in the theater because I like theaters now. We also want to enable one other thing here, and that's actually the always wish listed option. Now I select this because this way it allows the talk to be starred for each registered attendee, ensuring that everyone at the event is aware of this particular talk. So be sure to keep that in mind. All right, let's finish creating this because I think it looks pretty good. Now, what else do we want here? We need some tags. In this case, consumers, sales. We need a color. Let's select the very nice purple, always purple. Now that I'm done here, you'll notice I actually have a few different things that I can actually choose here. And that is that I can actually pick the contact details for the speaker. In our case, I'm actually not going to be talking. It's going to be Abigail. She's going to be telling my life story and everything here. And you'll notice when I selected Abigail, since she's a contact with an Odoo, everything auto filled. And isn't that useful? Now, once that we're done with that, you'll notice we can actually add a description as well. And this is just, you know, what this talk will be about. In this case, learn the magic behind the man behind the camera. And a lot of exclamation points with doers. I love my exclamation points in these. Now, once that this is done and everything looks good, we can actually go back to our events tracks to see where this looks like. Go back to our events tracks and now you'll notice there's our newly created track where in the proposal page or sorry stage and in our case this isn't a proposal i've decided that this is actually confirmed i will be speaking there so we've now confirmed it and that's how we do that now for our talk to appear on the actual event website we'll need to confirm and publish it don't forget that because this actually isn't published yet. So let's go do that now. So we're actually going to click back inside of our chat. Now from here, you'll notice something. We want to go over to the website and why it's so that in that case, we can officially tell our attendees about it. So let's move this talk somewhere else. We're actually going to pick the announce stage here. We've announced it now and now everyone's happy. All right, now that we've announced our page, it's time for us to publish this talk to make it readily available to anyone on our events website. And to do that, we actually simply need to click the go to website smart button and we got to toggle something. So I'm going to go to the website. You'll notice up here it says unpublished. Can you guess what we're going to do, oh doers? We're just going to publish it. And that's literally it. It is now published. Then I can actually go back to the uh, page over here and you'll notice something and I want to talk about this real quick. There's a small little visual tip that I wanted to help you out with. You'll notice that the website button is now green. 
instead of when it was read earlier. This is actually a nice visual cue to indicate to you that the web page was not actually live yet earlier. But now that I have published it, it's a nice healthy green. That's a little Jose pro tip right there. Now, if we actually want to see that our main talks page for this event is here, we can actually go back over here to the website again, and we'll see. Now, if we go to talks, and if we move to the week that we want, actually, because I just realized we're on the wrong day over here, it's going to go through this further. There it is. Inspiring chat with Jose. You'll notice we're right there. And you'll see also favorite on button is already activated. And our newly created chat is ready for our attendees to enjoy. Now you'll also notice up here that if we go up to the very top and we select our favorites, favorites, there it is. And that's a very quick way that we can, you know, show our talk and we can show that it is already waiting because we activated the always wish listed or always wish listed feature. Sorry, small little hiccup there. Now, isn't that pretty cool? And finally, while I'm here on the Stealthy Wood website, let's take a look at the talk proposals page. So in our case, we're actually going to go over here to talk proposals. Pretty quick and nifty. Now, instead of contacting us through phone or email, potential speakers can submit a talk proposal here on the website in the hopes that it'll be accepted and they become part of our event. We're kind of doing these talks a lot more. So let's say that someone wants to propose a talk. They would have to provide a title, a description, and a category for their talk. And in our case, we're going to do something with interior design demo chat. Talk introduction. In-depth chat about design. Now, I also need a category. And in our case, what do we want to do? Lightning talks. I want them to go fast. Then we would enter the speaker's name and email. And in our case, we're going to use this one, Jeff Bazos. Email, jeff at realemail.test.com. We always do these a lot. Now, they can also add a phone number, a picture, a job title, and a biography of the speaker as well. And these are important if you want additional information about any potential speakers. Now, you also notice down here, there's a tick box, and this tick box is if they want to be contacted via a different email address or phone number. But in this instance, the email entered is fine. So let's just click Submit Proposal. You notice almost instantaneously the proposal was submitted. And now, when we hop back into our database and go back into Events, and once we're inside of the Events app, we actually have to go back to Design Fair. There's a very interesting thing that we have here now. Now, if we go back into the track smart button, you'll notice something. The proposal stage has a new one. It's our interior design demo chat, and it's in the proposal column. Now, if we open it, we'll find all of the pertinent details that we just included, including the description and everything. And isn't that nifty? We can even modify things as we learn more about them. Well, that's all for this video, Odoers, but be sure to stay tuned for more lessons on Odoo events. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.